On this video, I'm going to show you how to install the driver NVIDIA driver 470, which is the one you need for the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte uh, video card. This driver is good because it doesn't have the protection. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the link on the description of the video, which is the download file. Okay, once you get the file, I'm going to open the file. Showing folder is going to be in your uh, download folder. So go just to install. Then you're going to continue going down and you're going to look for the setup. Okay. Click on this icon here, double click on it, and next, 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 install everything. Now, if you, this is based on Windows 10. If you have problems on Windows 8, I recommend you to install Windows 10 Pro, which you can download the Windows uh, 10 ISO file from the Microsoft website. It's for free. So once you got Windows set up and everything is Windows 10, you know, download the file, um, unzip it, then you go to this folder. And then install it with this um, this setting here. Once I'm not going to install it because I have already installed. So after you so after you download the Phoenix, so after you download the drivers and install the Nvidia drivers, that's the first step. The second step will be to download the miner itself, so we can configure and it will start mining Ethereum for you. For this, is going to be in the description of the video. The miner, the link is going to be the same. Uh, Omega, download the file, and you're going to download uh, a zip file like this one here, Phoenix miner. You can extract it, and once you extract the file, uh, you're gonna go. If you don't have a, uh, an application to extract, just download WinRAR uh, from the web browser. Once you download, it, it's gonna be a folder like this. Go inside, and then from here, the file that we want to modify is the Start Miner. Just click, right click on it, and click Edit. Here, we're gonna go to this part here, this section. You don't have to modify anything. The only thing you have to change is if you're using Ether My Pool. Just add the, the pool information. For example, I'm in the East Coast, so I'm going to use us1ethermine.org. So you just copy that, uh, put it here on this section on pool number one, and that's pretty much it. And then after that, you just have to add your wallet. Replace this wallet here for your wallet. And then here, you can put a name you want. For example, in this case, this is rig001. We can put like rig2, for example, put whatever you want. After you finish with that, close it and save changes. Very important thing, you have to go before running these miners because Windows detect this miner has a virus. You have to, even though they are not, you have to uh, disable Windows Defender. For this, go here, double click on Windows Defender. And once you are inside of Windows Defender, you need to go first thing, go to virus and threat protection and manage settings and uncheck everything. So put everything on off. So that's a virus and threat protection. Then you're gonna go to firewalls and network protection. And in here, you gotta do the same thing. You're gonna go one by one and gonna turn off all these settings. Once you have all that set up, then go to a folder again. After you set up the bad file, this file here, just double click on it and it goes to start load uh, the miner. As you can see here, the miner is loading. And in my case, I'm using 12080, but I already test this one with the multiple RTX 3060 and it will work just fine. After you load, we're gonna see you start mining and we're gonna start getting hash rate. Okay, so we're getting 32 mega hatches because this is a, a 2080. We're gonna maybe more, uh, but on the 30 on the 3060, we're gonna have around, I would say, 51, uh, not 51, 42, 41 mega hatches out of the bat. What we have to do to increase that is we're gonna go to uh, MSI Afterburner. Just type on Google MSI Afterburner, download that software, and that software allow you to overclock on Windows. So after install, just look for it, MSI Afterburner. And, and then here, this is what you're going to modify. Basically, what you're going to do is a core clock, you're going to put minus 100 or just scroll down up to 100, for example. Then memory clock, in the case of the 3060, I could do, I could go up all the way up to 1500, 1500 megahertz. I could do it on the 3060, the EVGA ones, but you can try different settings and see how the, the system is going to react. Then the power limit, you maybe want to go to 97 or something like that. It's perfectly fine. You see here as well, it's telling you that you have the NVIDIA driver for 705, which is the one we need. And here you can control uh, the fan speed as well. So you can just um, modify the fan speed. Then you save the profile and that's pretty much it, or you can minimize it. Then after that, you're just gonna be monitoring here that you get a stable hash rate. And with the 3060, you can go up to 50 mega hatches. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave it on the comments below or send it to us. Uh, to our email at support at maverick-tech.com. Thank you. Have a nice one. Bye.